morning, Wendy. I'm awake and ready to build. Actually, there's no job to do until this afternoon. Oh. What? Oh, oh, what happened? Looks like this bracket has rusted away. I guess we've been so busy building around Spring City and fix them that we've forgotten to look after the yard for a while. That's true. We should take a look around and make a list of anything else that needs fixing. We'll do it. I'm on it. Oh, look, Bob. The wind turbine isn't turning, so it won't be making any electricity for the yard. Look, look! There's a hole in that roof. That's bad. Oh, I can make it. Careful, Scoop. Ouch! Almost there. Ow! Maybe I can wriggle under. What's the problem, Scoop? Uh, my door won't open all the way. Maybe I can help. <laughs> There you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Shifter. That's another thing to fix, then. Scoop's garage door. Bob! Wendy! There's a crack in the kitchen window! Huh? Oh, no. So there is. I didn't even notice that. Well spotted, Dizzy. <gasps> oh, look! Pilchard wants to come out! <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Whoa! I'll add oiling the kitchen door to the list, too. That's quite a lot of jobs to do. Well, we've got this morning free. We can get everything in order if we all work together. Yes, and we'll need to move all of these pallets and things out of the way, too. I was getting around to clearing them, Bob. It's OK, Shifter. We've all been busy. Put them in the backyard, then Tutan can take them away. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we can! can! Last, some building action right here in the yard. I love working with the whole team, Dizzy. Me too! You're not expecting Tutan to take these away yet, are you, Shifter? He's out all morning taking Stretch to a job. I know, Tread, but we've got to clear the yard as quickly as possible because Bob needs to make repairs. Hey, that's my pile, Scoop. <laughs> it's mine now. Aw, oh, Scoop. <laughs> well, now, this is getting cozy. Just a few more to come, Tread. More? It's a good job I'm not going anywhere today. What's next, Dizzy? I can see another crate over there. Great! More for me to move. Ooh. Look out, Muck! Ooh. Careful, Muck. I've got to move this crate. I think I'll stay indoors until you stop shifting about, Shifter. Take it away, Loft. Will do, Wendy! Ah. And here's the replacement. Thanks, Lofty. The last pallet. The last barrel. Whoa! Whoa look out, Whoa! Dizzy! Oh! Uh-oh! Gangway! Oh, no! Whoa! Is it bedtime already? Oh. And now Muck's trapped, too! What are we gonna do? We need to tell Bob and Wendy! Okay, don't panic. Bob! Wendy! Bob! Whoa! Uh. <gasps> oh, no! Uh. Ow! Oh. Get off, get off! I can't 
shake it loose. What's happening down there? Bob, I accidentally hit the power box in the maintenance garage, and now all the garage doors have closed, and Scoop and Muck are trapped. Trapped? And now I've broken the scaffold tower, so you're stuck on the roof, too. I can reach you. <laughs> It's too dangerous with that bit of scaffold jammed on your hook, Lofty. Oops. Oh, I don't know what I did to make such a mess. Maybe you were working a little too fast without taking enough care, Shifter. Well, we need to think fast about how to get down from up here. We could use a ladder. Hmm, but those are all stuck in the garages, too. Could we build a ladder? Or a staircase? Or, or something? That's not a bad idea, Shifter. Perhaps you could use some of those empty pallets you cleared away. Yes, I can do that. But I'll need help. I can't help you, Shifter. Oh, no. Oh, but I know someone who can. <laughs> tread! Tread! It's an emergency! I need your help to move the pallets back to the yard again. Come on! Uh, I'd love to, Shifter. I really would, but there's one problem. I'm surrounded. Oh, yes, I see. Sorry. <laughs> here. OK, young shifter, here I am. Start loading me up. That's the idea, shifter. Not so fast, shifter. Take it easy. OK, Tread. Now I'll move yours. It's working! Back in a sec, Bob. We'll have you down in no time. That's it, Bob. I've used all of the pallets. Thanks, Shifter. Let's go, Wendy. Oh, do be careful, both of you. We're almost there, but we need two more steps to get down. Um, yes, I know what to do. Well done, Shifter. Thanks, Tread. Yay! Now let's get Scoop and Muck out. Huh? Wendy, can you let me out, please? That's why I'm here, Scoop. But first, I need to turn off the electricity to the doors and take a look. Ah, I see the problem. <coughs> there you go, Lofty. Oh, that's better. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> huh? How did all those pallets get back in the yard? <laughs> it's a long story, Scoop. But you can help clear them away again. We've just got time to finish the repairs before this afternoon's job. Guys, not so fast, remember? Sorry, Bob. Uh, after you, Scoop. No, no, no. After you, Shifter. No, no. After you, Scoop. After you, Shifter. No, 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 no. After you, Scoop. No, no, no. Shifter, Shifter, please. No, no. No, after, no, after you. Scoop. <laughs> Scoop. Uh, after guys. you, Shifter. Scoop. Shifter, you. No, after Scoop. you, Shifter. Scoop. Oh. 
Okay, team. Yesterday, we cleared the ground for the new hard court that we're building. And today, we're going to finish the job. And when it's finished, the surface will need to be perfectly flat. Sounds like a job for me. That's right, Rolly. You're going to be doing lots of rolling today. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hiya. What are you doing, Bob? We're building a hard court, Sappy, so you can play games like basketball on it. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Can we watch? We're late for lunch now, and you know I hate to be late. Oh, but I want to see how it's made. You know that I really want to be a builder one day. If you come back at the end of the day, Sappy, I'll tell you all about it. Oh, wow. Thanks, Rolly. I can't wait. Me too. Yeah. yeah me. All of you. Okay, then. Awesome. Come on, guys. Betsy's waiting. Bye. Bye. Well, if Rolly's going to have anything to speak about, we'd better get to work. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. All together. Have you practiced your speech to the Spring City Rockets yet, Rowley? No, I don't need to practice. But you might forget what you're going to say in front of all those people. I won't forget anything. All the same, would you like to hear my golden rules for speaking in front of people? No thanks, Scoop. Honestly, it's only the Rockets. I'll be fine. OK. If you're sure. That's good. The first layer of gravel is looking nice and flat. Rolly, you can take a break while Muck and Scoop unload the next lot. OK. Thanks, Bob. Oh, hi there, Rolly. Hi, Sky. The Rockets told me about your speech. It sounds kind of interesting, so I thought I'd come along and listen too. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Uh, no. If you're really interested. Oh, and when I told Mr Bentley, he said he might pop along as well. I expect he'll probably come along with the mayor. What? See you later. I suppose that's all right. You OK, Rolly? Well, no, actually. There are loads more people coming to hear my talk to the Rockets. <gasps> Could you tell me your golden rules for making speeches after all, Scoop? Sure. Rule one is... Scoop? Could you bring over the rakes, please? No problem, Bob. I better go. But what about the golden rules? This is the final layer of gravel, Bob. Great. Time for Rolly to do some rolling. Rolly? Where is he? He's over there, look, on the soccer field. Oh, yeah. I'll go and get him. Then, for stage two of building the hard court, I rolled a layer of gravel really flat. Or is that stage three? I think I've done stage two already. Oh, now I'm in a muddle. Where was I, Gull? Rolly! What are you doing all the way over here? I'm practicing my speech, Bob. But when I try, I imagine all the people looking at me, and I forget what I'm going to say. Don't worry, Rolly. All you have to do is relax, and you'll remember everything we've done. You'll be fine. Come on. I need you to roll the final layer of gravel. OK, Bob. <laughs> Hi, Rolly. Oh, hello, Muck. Hey, are you worried about your speech? Me? No, I'm very relaxed. Great, because Chef Patty, May Moon, and Carl Parker are coming. What? Well, on the way here, I bumped into them, and I told them all about it, and they're very excited. So am I. Oh, no. That's too many people. I'll get nervous and forget what I'm supposed to say. I really need Scoop's golden rules now. Scoop! Hi, Rolly! Listen, there are loads more people coming to hear my speech. I really need to know your golden rules. OK, then. So, rule one is always speak loudly. But don't speak too loudly! <gasps> OK. Rule two, speak slowly. But don't speak too slowly. Oh, I 
get it? Keep going. The asphalt is ready for Roly to roll, Bob. Great work. Next, we need to put up the basketball hoops. Uh, but they're still back at the yard. I'll get Scoop onto it. Thanks, Wendy. And finally, golden rule number 17. I didn't know there were going to be so many golden rules, Scoop. I'm not sure I can remember them all. And this rule is the most important one of all. It's... Scoop, huh? could you go back to the yard and get the basketball hoops? Sure thing, Wendy. I'll tell you when I get back. What? Roly, you can start rolling the asphalt now. OK. Yes, we will do, Wendy. The first thing we did to build the hard court was dig... No, rake... No. Uh, oh, no. I've forgotten. Hiya, Roly. Scoop, please tell me your final golden rule. Oh, yes. So, the final golden rule. This is very important. This is the rule you must remember. Here it is. Never, ever, ever. Oh, look, there's Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Scoop. Never, ever, ever what? Oh, no, Betsy must be here with the rockets already. But I really need to practice my speech. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Spring City Sports Field. My name is... Oh, no. I'm in such a muddle. And I don't know the final golden rule. <gasps> oh, no. Uh-oh. No. The hoops. Now what have I done? Rolly. What's going on? I've crashed into the dugout and I've ruined the basketball hoops. It's not like you to make a mistake, Roly. What happened? I was too busy thinking about my speech and all the people who will be coming. Don't worry, Roly. We can fix the dugout. And we can replace the poles for these hoops. But Betsy's here with the rockets and other people will start turning up soon. They'll see what a mess I've made. Betsy hasn't picked the rockets up from swimming yet. She just came to say she'd like to hear your speech, too. Oh, no. Not another one. I'll never be able to relax with all those people and machines watching me. They might be watching you, Roly, but you don't have to watch them. But what if I forget what building we've done? I'll feel really silly. You won't forget because Bob can remind you. Uh, can I? How? Bob can give you hand signals to remind you about everything we've done. Raking. Rolling and line painting. See? That's a great idea, Wendy. It certainly is. Now, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. After all the gravel was packed down, we moved on to stage four, the asphalt. Um, um. Which Bob and Wendy spread out using rakes. And I, uh, rolled nice and flat, like this. In stage five, Bob and Wendy painted the lines which mark out the court. Then, finally, they put up two new basketball hoops. And that is the end of my speech. Bravo! Awesome, Rolly! <laughs> that was great! Thanks, Rolly! I really, really, really want to be a builder now! Thanks, Sappy. But I only remembered what to say because Bob was giving me hand signals. But I only gave you two signals. You did all the rest yourself. Really? Did I? Wow! Maybe I'm better at talking in front of people than I thought. Rolly, I haven't told you my final golden rule. OK, so what is it? It's, hmm, it's never listen to any of Scoop's golden rules. <laughs> all right, all right.